Hey guys, how's it going? Another news video. So for this week, the new episode is Engaged Part 2, a continuation of last week, which was Engaged Part 1. And we have the promo for this episode. It looks good, hopefully. And if you're interested, we also have the pics and press release for that episode. And the press release says, As the NCIS team continues its search for missing Marine, Gibbs and Ziva travel to her last known whereabouts in Afghanistan. Meanwhile, Tony reveals his deepest fears and Gibbs is forced to relive events from his past. I wonder what Tony's greatest fear is, you know, is it something like spiders or is it like, you know, one of his old one night stands turning up pregnant? I just have to say that I love in these pictures that Ziva has a gun, like a big gun. I hope she gets to kill something. I know that's kind of morbid, but I like Assassin Ziva. I'm so glad it's Gibbs and Ziva going, like I hope it's like Gibbs, you know, picked one of the three of them to go and he picked Ziva. Because it always pissed me off in the episode In the Zone when fans had to pick two agents to go overseas. Like, he didn't pick Ziva because she was Israeli. Okay, I don't want to rant like too much on this, but let's just say I think we can rest assured that being Mossad, Ziva would have figured out how to not seem Israeli. I would just think that in that line of work, in certain missions, that would be an essential skill to not get your ass killed. Just saying. In other slightly related NCIS news, Lauren Holly, who played director Jenny Shepard, is going to appear on the television series Lost Girl. I don't really know exactly how to explain it, but it's kind of like Angel, except instead of like Vampire Booth, it's a hot female succubus. It's a Canadian show. It's going to be on sci-fi, I believe, in January. So I think you should keep a lookout for it because I think you guys would like it because it's a good show. Um, but anyway, Lauren Holly is going to be on the 14th episode of the second season. And they're on like the 8th episode now, so that's probably going to air in the new year. So in other news, actor Larry Miller has been cast to play Brina's dad, Ed Slater. So he's going to pop up in the Christmas episode, and I don't know which one that is. I I'm guessing maybe it's episode 10 and it's going to air in November, but it seems weird to have like a... Christmas episode in November, so I'm still not 100% sure what they're doing there. Uh, so basically, Palmer has to spend the holidays with his future in-laws. I love how we're getting some Palmer plot, because I think we all really love Palmer, and we love, you know, seeing him having, you know, a storyline. It's really great. And there's also this twit pic. That's an awesome sweater vest. Uh, speaking of Twitter, make sure you're following Michael Weatherly on Twitter. I know if you guys have Twitter, you're probably following him. I, I can really spend a whole video just talking about his tweets. They're amazing. Make sure you're following him. He's hilarious. And he's also been posting kind of hilarious short videos on Wifrog and then linking to them in his Twitter or something. But if you want to watch a compilation of them, link in the description. NCIS Fanatic compiled them. And finally, NCIS has been nominated for Favorite TV Crime Drama at the People's Choice Awards. They're up against Bones, Castle, Criminal Minds, and CSI. It's a really great lineup, but how am I supposed to choose? Okay, I'm probably gonna vote for NCIS. I'm probably gonna sit there and just vote for all of them and just cancel all my votes out. But um, they're all great shows. Really, they all deserve to win. I know I'm kind of biased for NCIS, but like I'll be happy if any of them win because they're all great shows. Vote multiple times. Uh, hopefully NCIS gets this because it really is a great show and deserves to have some recognition because shows like the Emmys kind of ignore them. So anyway, I'll see you guys later and enjoy Engaged Part 2.